name is Walt Golett. I am a research assistant professor in the School of Marine Sciences at the University of Maine in Orono and a research scientist at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. And my job here is study the populations and the life history of fish. I'm fascinated by tunas for th three really quick reasons. One, Atlantic bluefin, for example, are large, three quarters of a ton and over 10 feet long. Number two, they're warm blooded. This is very rare for a fish. And number three, a lot of their life history, which is more or less unknown. So the prospect of discovery from a scientific point of view is huge. One thing that's important to point out is that there are actually three species of bluefin tuna, Pacific bluefin, Southern bluefin, and then Northern or what's commonly referred to as Atlantic bluefin. So the word bluefin actually means three different species. So in the Atlantic, we divide the population of bluefin into two stocks. You can almost think of it as two boxes. Box A is the Eastern Atlantic, which consists of the Mediterranean. And then box B is the Western Atlantic, so the Gulf of Mexico, Canada, and the United States. Those two stocks are very different in terms of the size of their respective populations. The Eastern population is, is 10 times bigger than the Western population. And the two populations are known to reproduce in two completely different areas. So in the Gulf of Maine, every year, Atlantic bluefin tuna migrate to this region seasonally to forage on abundant resources of prey, things like Atlantic herring, Atlantic mackerel, squids, and more recently, Atlantic menhaden. With the biological samples that we collect from the industry, we can isolate the otoliths, which are small crystals at the base of the skull. Each of those has a unique signature, and that signature can tell us from which side of the Atlantic that individual fish is coming from, eastern or western. We can also figure out where fish are going by placing electronic tags, either on their body or inside of their body, and we can monitor their migration from one to five years from the time that that tag is deployed on that animal. One of the best parts about my job is the interconnectedness that I have with management, with assessment, and with the actual fishing communities, be they recreational or commercial. And it's really a partnership between all of those different facets that makes our research program run. It's the samples we collect from the industry, it's the feedback we get from the assessment and management groups as to what they need and where the, the holes in life history actually exist and take that information, incorporate it, and move forward towards the sustainability of tuna populations in the Atlantic.